Hi, it's Emily again, in case you forgot. Um, welcome back to Emily's video blog, live from the corner of our spare room. <laughs> it's, um, it's been almost a year since I vlogged. It's long. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm between jobs again, um, but I had worked for a long time in Japan. I really like the shoes there it's, um, and small feet. So... Uh, anyway, while I was there, I was watching all of these Ken Burns videos about how to make a documentary, and he was saying how every documentary should have like a beginning, a middle, and an end, and, and, and we don't really have an end. I mean, everybody just sort of argued the whole time. Tom and Anna, and uh, I'm not sure we need to be here. We don't fight or anything like that. Last November, Tom's company... None of the business. None of the business. Tom's company went under and he's been out of work ever since. Um, what would it take to make you happy? My Family, freaking career children. back. I can't believe Anna thinks we can have a baby with no income and no health insurance. In vitro is very expensive and we're out of money. I got on the computer, started selling stuff on eBay. And you think you could get me one of those messenger jobs? I brought my resume, references. Hmm? They won't really care about your resume. Do you have a bike? I read a lot of self-help books. When you speak a negative world, you're creating a negative world. I read the Celestine Prophecy four times. So that is what the Dalai Lama says is the key to happiness. Passive aggressiveness is a terrible energy to carry around. The purpose of your life, and it comes with a workbook, visualize your world. Oh. Visualizing, be specific. If you want a donut, do you want sprinkles? Thomas will not even have sex with me anymore. Anna! When you first decide to have a baby, you think, great, I can have all the sex I want. What you don't realize it's not sex anymore. It has a purpose. You know, you're not doing it in the right position. It's not the optimal Good time. time. You know, the whole thing is, is that, you know, you got to perform on demand. You, you know, it's like, oh, honey, quick, quick. I got 28 minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That guy's a dick. Feel like a piece of meat. Okay. I'm the one who's serious because I want to get pregnant. Yes, baby, God, baby. I know, I know. The baby, we're not trying to not get you knocked up. I pee on a stick twice a day and still no baby. I'm pregnant. That is completely unfair. I just think talking about it digs a hole deeper. Hi, I'm Anna. My life used to be perfect, including a job I was brilliant at until I heard my clock ticking, so I got pregnant, but I lost the baby. By the way, 30% of all pregnancies end in miscarriages. I started reading every hoodoo fix yourself book written by every quack with a freaking pencil in the Western Hemisphere. Stress causes a poison in your body. That is a proven fact. It's scientific. And that stress is what is attacking my uterus and creating poison in my uterus. And you cannot have a baby when you have a poisonous uterus. First it was work stress, and now it's you. You are stress, which is causing poison, and that poison is attacking my body, and that is killing my baby! The dingo ate my baby. That guy's still a dick. Well, right. We're not like you people. I think Jerry and Terry should have to give me their baby. So, I decided to go uh, and interview all the couples. You know, sort of a one year later, look how great it all turned out kind of thing. And we did. Hi, is that is that a dog? Do you have a dog? He's taking his nap. Can I put him in the back room so we don't wake him up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, goodbye. Sweet dreams. Mm, I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, um, I could have come to you guys. You didn't have to come here. No. No. <laughs> We're having some issues over there. Oh, is there is everything okay? Uh -huh. I mean... Damn it. Enough with the Blackberry. What? Just let me finish this one email, Tom. One second. And send. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's just been a completely crazy week at work. You got a job. Yeah, yes. isn't it great? <laughs> it's completely consuming, but th we do have money coming in now. Oh, so that's good. Yeah, solved all our problems. Yeah, oh. well, not exactly solved. Well, things are way better. We're so far behind on the mortgage, we'll never catch up. Don't even ask about the credit cards. Promise. And everything in the place is broken, including the toilet. That's a blessing. You know what? If you would give Lao Tzu a real chance, I think things could turn around for you, too. I am not discussing the kook. <sighs> Who's Lao Tzu? What's a Lao Tzu? Oh, Emily. He's just the most brilliant man. Really, you must study with him. He's completely changed my life. <laughs> are you mocking me? No, I'm mocking out Chu. Lao Tzu is a brilliant spiritual guru. He's helped countless people, and he's widely believed to be the next Gandhi. He's a so, skinny white guy yeah. with an apartment in Murray Hill. He's brilliant. He shaves his chest. Uh, he rechristened himself Lao Tzu after the great Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, who that actually the influenced same Confucius. To me. That well, it is the same. the same, but our Lao spells his name with an S instead of a Z to honor his individuality. Oh, yeah. he did stop the crying. He stopped the crying. 
Anna, and damn it, for the love of God. What? Enough with the Blackberry. What is your problem with my Blackberry? It's throwing your job in my face. It's a phone. The Blackberry is mocking The Blackberry is mocking The Blackberry is mocking Really? Really? <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Come on, hello. Oh, sweet Robert. Oh, Robert so cute. Where did you get him? We adopted him two weeks after his birth from this lady in Connecticut. Isn't he a beauty? He's oh. a real show dog. Well, one. only if that's what he wants, whatever he wants, whatever that's makes right. him happy. That's right. Yes, it's been completely life changing, hasn't it? He has so. to be walked every two hours, yeah, there day are and night. There are different philosophies <laughs> on how to raise them. Anna has all the books. Yes, accidents all over the house. Yeah, we even tried to put a diaper on the little bugger. <laughs> he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like having a baby. <laughs> yes, it is. And Thomas gets to stay home with them. Perfect little fucking family. Hey, little ears, little ears. I you do not want to hear that. Why are you Am I going to have to bad put a quarter daddy. in his piggy yes, bank, mommy? Maybe two quarters. Oh, no, a very bad not fifty cents.